Things are heating up at the same time as high school sports conditioning. Being in COVID-19 lockdown the last three months, heat experts are worried about how quickly athletes should return to high exertion. Here's Adam Clements with a look at our latest athletes at risk. Tyler Heinz was an Ohio farm boy. That's where he got his work ethic. He knew what it was like to put in long hours under the hot sun. Three years ago, he was on the football field at Kent State University. On the second day of conditioning, he collapsed. Exertional heat stroke is caused by intense exercise in the heat. The Corey Stringer Institute, which was founded following NFL player Corey Stringer's death from heat stroke, says the mandatory heat acclimatization guidelines could help save lives. KSI defines this adjustment as a way for athletes to adapt to heat and its effect on the body in a controlled environment over the course of one to two weeks. This is the OHSAA's policy on heat acclimatization. It requires at least five days of adjustments. And those are only requirements for cross country, track and field, and football. For all other sports, it's a recommendation. That's not good enough for KSI's standards or Cincinnati Christian athletic trainer, Corey Jacobs. He's going with a 50-30-10 plan, which allows athletes to recondition back to competition mode. So right now you're starting 50%. Uh, so everything is 50%. So if you're running a mile, uh, you're only doing a half mile. Yeah. Oh, baby. Then the next week is at 30%. The following week is 10, and the week after that is full go. So it's about a four week adjustment period. Kentucky follows KSI's acclimation guidelines. Indiana partially does, Ohio does not. There's no cost associated with some of the stuff we're talking about. It is unfortunate that we have to sometimes wait till the tragedy occurs to invoke some kind of policy. Tyler Heinz's practice took place three years ago in June of 2017. On the same day, exactly one year later, a college football player died of heat stroke. 363 days later, another high school football player died of heat stroke as well. Adam Clements, Local 12 News. The NCAA implemented heat guidelines back in 2003. The OHSAA told us it's made no recent changes to the policy. We reached out to the Heinz family and received no response for comment. All of our coverage on athletes at risk. If you want to check it out, go to local12.com and click on Investigates.